What is up guys, McGubbles back again, and today we're gonna be checking out a spell power based intellect prot pally pious strikes righteous fury holy tank. It's a mouthful, right? I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna take it all the way up to at least mythic zero tanking in this video. And I promise you the next video I do will have this character doing mythic plus. So that's a big commitment. It's a tank character. They can get frustrating and it's also a build I'm doing from scratch. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's jump right in. Currently, I am theory crafting a spell power based tank that utilizes things like Pious Strikes, which goes with the Hammer of the Righteous and the Holy Nova, using the Avenger's Shield, hopefully pulling things like the Consecration, the Holy Wrath, maybe popping on the Flame Tongue weapon because I had the gold card. Not the best, I think, but still decent. Does that extra fire damage, just extra threat. And uh, yeah, right now I'm rolling for my abilities. So I'm on this character, Mythic Buster, and the point is to do some actual Mythic Plus, but I wanted to create something that we haven't done before, but also something that can basically mow through it like it's nothing. And I thought, what about a Pally Tank, man? That shit's always been been broken since TBC. So let's do it. All I gotta do is get a decent start and I'm thinking that we're gonna go with something like Seal of the Righteous, maybe Thunderclap so we can actually 15 to 60 this as the tank and then maybe Righteous Fury. We have a lot of things we hope we get but this is actually not the first playthrough of this character. It's actually Prestige so I'm gonna have quite a bit of rerolls when we make it to max. The best thing about the open world Prestige quest is that you don't have to do these while leveling. When you get to max you could just do the regular stuff to turn in and get Hands of Fate, you know, the daily quests right and it actually completes for you so this is actually a free 5,000 marks pretty broken actually i'm not even sure if they know it works that way but they probably do i'm gonna send some bags to this guy because this is inappropriate <laughs> and we're gonna jump back on and roll the perfect build all right guys level 11 and we've already got one of our cards in the flame tongue weapon i went with defensive stance because the tank reworks haven't gone through yet and i feel like i just need the extra threats it also just decreases damage taken by five percent that's not too bad i also have the flame tongue weapon righteous fury judgment of light and seal of righteousness and the whole idea here and why i didn't take the thunderclap is we're going to utilize the new and improved heart of crusader which allows my judgment to do damage to every enemy in an eight yard radius which is pretty good we're going to be spell power based perhaps intellect based as well at max hammer of the righteous judgment these are the things i aim to use with the seal of righteousness so we'll have to see how it works out right now though i'm looking for a 15 to 60 group and i'll tank it all the way to max i do just want to mention there are a couple pretty sick epics that we've never seen before right and they're relatively new if not completely new one of which emanating light i know that came out i think last month your consecration is now usable while moving and dealing damage with consecrate increases my holy damage done and reduces my physical damage taken by one percent stacking up to three times so i think we're gonna go hard into the future consecration that i'm sure i'm going to get along things like holy ground as well it doesn't work with purification by light but my legendary options are kind of thin believe it or not so i might still go with that but if we roll the holy shield for example and perhaps the power word shield as well we could potentially go with an interesting version of crimson champion we'll just have to see what we end up getting all right it begins we are level 14 and we just got smite as an option guys which is so perfect let's turn this stuff in as well got level 16 off that healing touch backstab slow fall i'm gonna go with the healing touch something a little bit different look at this i shouldn't but i'm gonna level 18 sunder armor Mark of the Wild, Demon Skin, increases the amount of health generated through spells and effects. I don't think that quite counts for anything I would be healing with, right? Well, it does count for things through effects and spells, so that should mean Holy Nova? We're gonna try it. Let's Demon Skin. At the very bare minimum, it is giving me armor. Okay, so my first three talents are gonna be Light's Vengeance, we'll try that. 3% parry, but if I do parry, I do holy damage to my attacker, which generates additional threat, so that's pretty good. We are reducing the cooldown of Judgment by three seconds, and it has a capstone bonus that's mostly irrelevant right now. We'll get to it if it matters at some point. But now we have the main thing, Heart of the Crusader. 3% crit and judgment now deals holy damage to all enemies within eight yards. So it's on a seven second cooldown, which isn't beautiful, but obviously when we level and we get more stuff to use, it won't matter at all. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's see how it works. Nice, it immediately pulled all the aggro. I'll take that. 
Maybe we'll get a taunt or something. But every time we gain a level, we reset the judgment as well. Very important to keep in mind. I really like this new add-on I'm using too. Okay, I've got more talent points and I'm going to start going into Vindication. This is also a pretty cool tank talent if you really think about it. It reduces the attack power of anything that I'm attacking with my Judgment or any of my Holy Spells. And it also just gives me more spell damage and attack power, which, you know, translates into more threats. It's actually incredibly easy aggro. Just Judgment and run away. There we go. Nice, level 21. And that's a new ability, Holy Nova. Let's go ahead and grab it. Won't do me any good right now because Holy Nova doesn't generate any threats. The point of the Holy Nova through the Pious Strikes isn't really a threat thing. It's just a healing thing. And it heals everybody in my party as well. Look, instant threat with just Judgment and pretty high damage as well. All right, there we go. It's maxed out. Reduces their attack power by 92, basically, on a Judgment. That's a lot at this level. Level 24, Disarm, Immolate, Counter Spell. Do I need any epics right now? Maybe the Shield Wall or something like that? I don't think I take any of these. I think I'm greedy. Immolate it is. Hibernate, Curse of Agony, Holy Light. Let's go with the Holy Light. Why not? Basically useless. Let's do some stocks. I got Firm Grip now. Increasing my armor value from my shield by 30%. Gives me 3% stamina, 6% block value as well, which is pretty cool. There we go, level 26, and this is going pretty well so far. You are punished a bit. Obviously, I lost aggro at the end there as they're running uh, because of the cooldown. But the bright side is that every time you get it off, they do all essentially jump to you. And you can just tab target and put that vindication buff on everybody. Pretty good. Suddenly, they don't do any damage. We can pull these guys as well. Level 27. Just judgment as we run. Can the healer keep me up? Yes, he can. It's going pretty good. Let's do it again. That's high damage for my gear. Imagine if he could reduce the cooldown even more. It would actually be a suitable replacement for the Thunderclap. At low levels, that is. All right. Searing Pain. Overpower. Raptor Strike. All pretty bad for me. Let's go Raptor Strike. Thunder Armor, Serpent Sting, Wrath. I guess Thunder Armor has some applicability. We're already 29. Look at that. We're actually able to judgment all of them. <laughs> With the guy's horn. I'm going to die, aren't I? Oh my god, are you going to keep me up? No. We quickly res those so we get all this XP. Doesn't matter as long as we're alive. There we go. 34. Rand Concussion Blow, Conjure Food. There's some potential for Stormhammer with that, right? I'm not really sure if it's worth getting. There's just other things I need, and that's just not what this build is. So Conjure Food, that kind of hurts. Ancestral Spirit, Hemorrhage, Slam. Go with the res. I love joining these Fokker groups, man. All fan of knives, carry me all the way to 60, please. I think in hindsight, I'd also recommend grabbing the Thunderclap. I don't think I'll use Thunderclap at max, but it certainly would help while leveling. All right, 37. Mind Play, Sinister Strike, Moonglade. Get teleport to Moonglade. I hate that I have to take that. I really do. But, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing was really worth it there. And 38. Fireball, Shadowburn, Revenge. Just take the Revenge. Only because everything else is completely useless. Maybe we can use Revenge while leveling. I highly doubt it, because as you can see, I'm being hardcore carries. And I appreciate and love it. Okay, complete garbage. Shadow Resistance Aura, Devouring Plague, Howl of Terror. Let's go with the Resistance Aura, man. Why not? Then he shot Picklock, Distracting Shot. Hey, we could take that for a taunt, but there is much better, right? So Picklock. So I really do think, due to the fact that I'm just in a literal, fully twinked group, we're just going to keep getting abilities over and over again until 60. There's not much tanking happening. When oh my god, look at that transmog. Okay, and that's 46. Distracting Shot again. Safe Fall this time. And uh, the Unending Breath. Not too great. Safe Fall it is. And 49. Conflagrate. Searing Pain. Thunderclap. Okay. It really is possible that we end up using the Thunderclap. 
because you can actually get some pretty interesting random enchants. And those random enchants uh, actually scale it with spell power. So hey, level 52, by the way, as well. There's my Avenger shield. Don't even have to see anything else. What's next? Flame Tongue, Eagle Eye, Curse of Agony. You know what? Why not? Let's go with the Flame Tongue Totem. How many people take it, really? All right, Judgments of the Wise. 100% chance to get mana back on my Judgment and give everybody else mana, too. I also thought if I get Crusader Strike, we could give up on Pious Strikes and do a completely different build with another Legendary Enchant you might already know about. But hey, here's Avenger Shield, and that's pretty sick. Guys, big roll. Level 55, Exorcism. This could be useful. It's very bare minimum for that purification by light legendary enchant. You do need the exo for that for the scaling. Nice. And level 56. Mind Flay, Insect Swarm, Lesser Healing Wave, man. These rolls have been so bad. This is going to give really good stuff, these dungeon caches. All right, last dungeon, and we are level 60. Bender Shield. Throw out the judgment. I'm not going to lie, I can't hold aggro against these guys. They simply do too much damage. I need gear, level 60, more abilities, stuff like that. I mean, look at this guy doing 2,000 DPS. <laughs> like, what? What? Okay, another one. Varix Collar, a necklace? Nice. Yikes. All right, Eagle Eye it is. Wow, that feels bad. I'm never going to use the Fire Nova, man. I have too much AoE. We haven't got the Holy Wrath, the Consecration. These are commons, man. It does happen sometimes, though, and I play it out anyway because, well, it's more natural, right? It's more honest. There we go, level 60. Hammer of the Righteous. I cannot wait to try this, guys. Hammer the current target and up to two additional nearby targets, causing 3.5 times your main hand weapon damage per second as holy damage. That is where it's going to come in strong for me with the threats. Let's do it. Oh, and by the way, prestigious cash. Whoa, boots of ferocity. It's leather, but I don't even have boots on right now, sadly. So yeah, okay. Uh, Okay, emerald flame ring. This is actually going to be okay for me as well. This gives intellect and uh, crown of the ogre king is interesting for the same reason because we don't even have a hat. Helm of the executioner and also frost weaver cape. Lots of spell power stuff, lots of hit rating. I will take that. I think that uh, I do want to go with this intellect version. That is what I want to commit to we do have one more dungeon cache though let's see what tank item we get a trinket yes vigilance charm not the best but i'll take 20 dodge over literally nothing 6.64 percent to eight percent you know what one and a half percent could matter you never know so this is what i was talking about you can click your spec one hand of fate level 20 and it completes the world quest quest you can do it again now I'm at 14 out of 25. You can keep going with this all the way to max. So many free quests. And uh, I thought it would disappear at 62. It doesn't. But then you can do your spec one. Uh, you know, it's so cheap in the beginning too. And before you know it, because you're doing this anyway, you'll be able to complete this quest. And there we go. This will be the last one for the quest. Let me see. How many marks do I even have left without it? 3,100. Wow. That is going to be a lot of rerolls, guys. Talk to Chromie. Prestige. 8,100 marks, and we have 45 rerolls already. If we don't get a perfect build off this, I've said this before, but I think this will be the most hands of fate we've ever got. And we got close to a perfect build before. So, I think if we don't get a perfect build off this, Ascension needs to up the rarity chance of some of this crap, man. Because if I'm not getting it, how many people just don't have a good build at all? Like a viable one at all? You're stuck rolling for an eternity. And don't get me wrong, guys. At this point, the main reason to play on this realm over the other one is that this one has Mythic Plus and uh, the TBC realms don't. As soon as the TBC realms get Mythic Plus, I think if they don't make any changes to this, like having Felforged mode or something else, maybe crazy random enchants, I'm probably going to check out the TBC realm for a bit because you have to think mythic and mythic plus TBC dungeons. Like, that's great. <laughs> you know, that's going to be good. That is worth playing in my opinion. And we'll be able to do more stuff because you can pick all your abilities. But hey, 84 hands of fate. Let's do it. All right, starting off, shit, <laughs> just horrible, man. Feral spirit, not the legendary I wanted to see. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Shield wall, yes! Oh my god, that's perfect. Reduces all damage taken by 60% for 12 seconds. And we will totally replace Shadow Word Pain. That is what I wanted to see. I need a damage cooldown like that. A damage reduction cooldown, that is. So that I can, uh, you know, not die. Gravel form, shield slam, earth shock. I don't want the slam, man. Lay on hands. I'd rather have divine protection, I think, based on cooldown. But I will take the drain soul. 
I've never really gotten it, but Drain Soul could give me Void Walker, and Void Walker would be big. So let's just get rid of the Healing Touch. I'm gonna keep the Shadow Resistance Aura for now. If I can, I guess. Moonfire is pretty garbage. I'm gonna take this Holy Fire that I just rolled, but um, I'm not too happy about it. It's just better than nothing. We'll get rid of the cleave. Drain Life, Flame Shock, Earth Shock. No thank you, Shock, man. Ooh, I'll get rid of the Hibernate, though, to open up the rare slot. Why not? Earth Living Weapon. Increases healing done. Well, I'm not really using a direct heal, I guess, on anybody, so I can't proc the Earth Living, or else I would totally take it. I love the idea of being a tank that's also kind of like a support, you know? There's no support role. Healing is not truly a support role. It's a healing role. You heal the whole time. You know, you rarely just sit there in support. You know, supports to me are off heals at best. Oh, two legendaries. I guess it's a fine line and it can kind of be both, but okay. Dispersion, 80% damage reduction, but I can't do anything. Travel form, garbage. Do I want to spend a talent point on that? I don't think so. If I have to use dispersion, I probably am in a really bad place, right? Plus, again, divine protection would really synergize with a lot of different talents, I think, that I could take right now. Well, I guess it's nothing too crazy. Just 3% stam and one minute off the cooldown. But I think you can also extend it, right? Yeah, right here. Reduce periodic spell damage taken by 6%. Increase the duration by 3. So I'm going to give up on it and just do the fireball. I hate when it's two legendaries, which could have been two really good things, and you get nothing but garbage on both rolls, man. Flame shot. Flame Strike, Arcane Missiles. God. You know, the shield wall is a shining light right now. It truly is. Lay on hands once again. No, thank you. 64 to go. Or Oh, Consecration. I was about to say more garbage. I was ready for it. Glossed over the Consecration. Uh, let's just get rid of the Holy Light. That is absolutely pivotal because everything about this build centered around the Consecration, guys. Everything. We have two random enchants, epic ones, that will be centering around the Consecration. Blink, not quite the epic. Oh, but Hand of Reckoning, that's my taunt. It does holy damage as well. We can get rid of the Immolate, why not? Divine Protection! Oh my god. Earthshock, go away. Divine Protection, come to me. All right, this is pretty sick, guys. 50% uh, damage reduction for six seconds, 60% for 12 seconds. That's what I wanted to see. Another feral spirit. Not gonna do it. Cleansing totem though. Removes disease and poison effects. I am gonna take that. It's not void walker. It's very niche, but you can pull a lot of epics now. I'm gonna do it because I know it can be very good. It can be good in Skolo, for example. I'll just take it over the Sunder, which I don't think I'll ever use. Holy shield, man. That is what I wanted to see. Now I hope I get Power Word Shield too. What a wonderful, cool build that would be. At the very bare minimum though, it's 30% increased block every 10 seconds. And it does extra holy damage when I block. Only 12 more of these guys. Just 12. Travel form is not what I wanted to see. Five more to go, nothing so far. I don't want the Fire Blast, that's for sure. This might be it. We might get nothing else. Slow. Rock Biter weapon. Neither of them, man. Tech traps. Can't even take it. Two more. Yep, don't want that. Last one coming up, guys. Okay. Aspect of the monkey. Actually useful. 2% dodge. Can I take it? Oh, you know what? I think we're going to go purification. This is the one that uh, my damaging abilities have a chance to exercise my target, leaving an area of effect on the ground, causing holy damage. Scales with consecration and exorcism does not work with things like holy ground, right? So the consecration-esque effect will not heal targets. So that's something to keep in mind, but it is going to be extra threat, extra damage. The only reason I was thinking about that at all is because I was also in the realm of maybe taking Righteous Zealot, which requires smite and uh, heals some people, does a little bit of extra damage. But this can only occur every 4.5 seconds. It's possible I could proc the other one slightly more. It's also possible the other effect is just better for threat. The reason I'm even contemplating it this hard is not because of the 2% dodge, but actually because of the 4% reduced damage taken while I have it up. If I had this and the Void Walker and all the other stuff, it would be so bonkers, man. I'm telling you, some things are just like so impossible to get, but so required. So I think we're just gonna bite the bullet here, right? Can't get rid of the Holy Nova, so Smite maybe will pick you up again in the future, but I'm gonna try the Aspect of the Monkey 
and I hope I don't regret it. There we go, guys. That is the build. It's actually pretty sick. Divine Protection, Aspect of the Monkey, Holy Nova for the Pious Strikes, Consecration, Hammer of the Righteous, Judgment of Light, Avenger's Shield, Hand of Reckoning, Shield Wall with the Holy Shield, the Cleansing Totem, Mark of the Wild, Demon Armor, Flame Tongue Weapon, Seal of Righteousness, and Righteous Fury. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and get myself ready, and we'll be able to jump into some dungeons in just a moment. All right, guys. Let's attempt our first Mythic tank run dire mall west is the daily so we might as well do it brings back memories and by the way i already farmed some heroics and stuff on this guy so my gear is not just like complete garbage or all pvp should be fine as a result of that so far so good i've noticed throughout my heroic runs that threat's not a problem i am a little bit worried about my damage reduction um i don't think i'm chock full of it like a lot of other tanks i'm obviously at my strongest with holy shield up and i've got two massive defensive cooldowns that uh, basically, I play around. Look at this. I'm really not taking that much damage. And in none of my heroics was I taking a lot of damage, nor was I, like I said, having any problems at all, especially with threat. Now, whenever you see this little holy thing above my head, that means I have holy shield up. And I just did that so I would always know if it fell off. Normally, it falls off before the cooldown runs out, but sometimes it doesn't. And then you just want to make sure you keep it up at all times. I'm still missing, but I do actually have random enchants right now that are giving me 4% hit. The biggest problem is actually itemization. I kind of hope they end up adding like more customization with the itemization, right? Uh, what I'm specifically saying is I wish I could find more intellect plate gear that also happen to have things like defense rating or block rating or something like that on it. Um, and that's because it's a custom class server. So if you think about it, yeah, it should 100%. It should have everything like that so that even if it's not used, it should still be in the game because someday it might be. And that's also going to open up build variety. Now, the worst part about this is it looks like somebody already left and they left because our DPS is just really bad. You're not supposed to queue mythics unless you can do a minimum of 1k. Now, one thing you might be noticing as well is my extreme sustain. Not only am I healing everybody, and by the way, it's not nothing right 11k the healer healed for 57k so far i've essentially done one fifth of the healer's heals but i'm also the tank and the more people and especially the more melee there are the more i'm healing for because i'm getting the heals off the pious strikes theoretically off the judgment i'm getting the heals because of the judgment of light right but also if people are in my consecration and, uh, of course, my Consecration can move, so that's pretty cool. You can see all the heals right there as well. All right, we're LOSing these Mana Remnants. I've basically just done this so much as DPS. It becomes hard not to know what you're supposed to do. But, yeah, basically, I don't run out of mana because of two talents, one of which is actually awesome because it's a support esque ability that uh, I think I've already showed you guys. It gives me mana on Judgment and gives my team mana over time as well. One thing I like about this is I really do think that Pally is, like, the ultimate dungeon class. Um, unless the mythic pluses, you know, prove to be too difficult. Um, so far the mythic zero seems to be perfectly fine and I know I don't have all the caps I need for everything. I've got PvP gear on. It's just not mostly PvP gear, like I said. But like I said, so far so good. Super, super easy. I'm not gonna go over the build in this video. I will, however, put it in my Discord. So if you're interested in like a spell power paladin tank that can at least do these M0s with proof, um, yeah, you can check that out and you can play it like all my other builds in my Discord. One thing I love about this judgment, by the way, is I actually have the talent that increases its range and uh, I can pull with it so effectively because it hits multiple targets and so you can really just grab aggro so easily. And also, this build is simple. I mean, look at my bars. Is that not clean AF? I mean, is it not clean? I literally have five buttons I'll typically use and then some defensive cooldowns, right? I mean, it's just clean. You know, there is a beauty in simplicity when it's, uh, when it works, right? Yeah, Pally Tank is actually the best. Like, this is the only tank I can play at max level and enjoy because you just get to play the game and smash buttons and do damage. And I know that sounds like I want to be a DPS, but there's more to it, right? Because I get to be a leader. I get to, you know, judge the pace of the group. If I'm good, um, I don't have to actually focus on doing real damage. You know what I mean? So that means I can have a bunch of like big dick DPS and I can just do me. And that's pretty sick. I really, really enjoy that. Not the best pull, I think. I, I'm getting cocky. I know I can LOS these, by the way. I understand that the way you're supposed to do it is you go on the ledge, you pull the skellies, you pull the arcane. I get it. I, I want to make it clear that I get it, though, because it needs to be known that I do things sometimes because I actually don't want to, not because I don't know. Look at that on all the skellies. I should have the holy shield up, I guess. I'm watching my healer, but if you notice, both of us have no problem with mana right now. Look at the damage. 
God, I love this. Plus, I'm a human. I'm a human pally, and I just look badass. I, I really do. Like, I love this. I don't play Alliance a lot. Typically, when I do, I'm memeing. But I won't lie, a lot of my mains throughout my WoW career, way before I ever made videos, were all humans. Like, human pally, human warlock, human priest. Just trying to think of all my mains. Oh, I had a human monk as well. Look at that. It's impossible to lose aggro. And people are saying there's like three tanks right now. Maybe I'll just pop the shield wall here. They're saying it's like warrior. It's like super apparently like reduction warrior. I don't even know what you would call it. I uh, I also think bear tank is there. There was one other one that's supposed to be really good. Maybe that is actually Paladin. Maybe Paladin is just really good. I don't know. But it's not this one. Nobody's playing spell power Paladin with uh, mana and intellect as your main stats. Going into stupid things like arcane fortitude. By the way, I'm maxing so many intellect talents out as well um i have 433 intellect which by the way for somebody that's not a caster for somebody that's not dps it's actually pretty neat i really enjoy it all right so we los this one properly and honestly i don't know how much of this i would have known if i hadn't been doing this as dps for so long because you forget when you go through so many expansions of wow but i've been doing so much dps gameplay and uh, I just know what a good tank is versus a bad one. I just learned from watching. There we go, boys. Oh, yes. First boss. Make sure everything's actually done properly. I didn't have my flame tongue up. A decent amount of extra damage, by the way. It's not actually irrelevant. I enjoy it. I really do. I think it's a good pick. I remember when I was talking to somebody and they were convincing me wizard oil was better than flame tongue. It, it's fine. It's, it can be better. But if you get the auto attacks off at all, doesn't that just make flame tongue better? You know, why would I want 1% crit on my tank, my spell power tank? But I think the Flame Tongue is a good pick here. I don't think I would want the Frost Brand. I don't think I would want a Warlock Stone either. But I think Flame Tongue is basically as good as it gets unless I go damaged and might want Rockbiter Wind Fury. But I don't even think I would want that. And I'm definitely not doing that. By the way, I am second place healing. Still, with about the same ratio. What? <laughs> Okay, I just got hit for a 6.7k crit. I've been looking for the, uh, isn't there like a can't be crit? I only saw it for bear tank. How does everybody else get it? Is it just defense cap? Is that how that works? I thought everybody got that. Decreases chance to be hit by 3.16. Okay, here's a mail belt too. At least they killed it. I had the cooldowns to pop there. I just didn't think that was going to happen. But now I know. The learning experience. Nothing to do with the build. Everything to do with me. I've also got one macro for three buffs right now, by the way. It's pretty sick. Righteous Fury, Demon Armor, and Aspect of the Monkey all go up with one button. Just cleans everything up so nicely. Also, I rarely have to taunt. And because I don't plan to do raids with this guy, I mean, he literally is supposed to be a Mythic Buster. I don't think this guy could do raids, if I'm completely honest. I think that's where he will not shine. And perhaps that's why the other tanks are really the only viable ones, the other ways to build them, because they're probably built entirely around raids. But I think this guy could be a good Mythic Plus. All the AoE damage, easy threat, fast-paced, really resourceless if you think about it, at least the way he's built. I considered Eldritch Knight, by the way. What a fascinating and also very outdated legendary random enchant. Like, this was cool when it came out. Now it really should just be an epic. You know what I mean? Like, this is way outdated. Should just be an epic and a new legendary enchant added. But it's an interesting one to think about. I could get rid of five talent points, by the way, if I took that. And so I've just been thinking, you know, can I use five talent points to make up for all the damage and AoE I lose by getting rid of my current random enchant? Legendary, that is. And uh, I, I don't think I can, to be honest. Right now, I've actually got the three-piece for Deathbone. I really just wish there was a little bit of intellect on all of these, right? Would it really kill it? Even if it was like plus four, you know, on the boots. Maybe a little plus six right there. A little plus two. I, I mean, I know that's too low. Plus seven. I mean, come on. It would help so much and nobody uses it, really. It would be so cool, actually. So niche if they added intellect to Deathbone. Of course, I'm biased. I obviously want that to happen because I really like the set. All right, another LOS pull, got the Consecration up. Highest strikes, all the healing going everywhere. Here's the Judgment. Just wait till my gear is more itemized. It's gonna be so much more fun. I wonder what the DPS looks like, by the way. I'm in third! I'm pulling over 1k. All right, we made it unscathed. Let's try Immolthar, and hopefully we don't mess this up. We don't have, like, anybody that can debug, decurse, you know what I mean, anything. Jesus, this is actually pretty epic when you're the tank. It feels like it's you against the mob. It's so fun, man. Okay, there's the Avenger's shield. That's a big boost of threats, big boost of damage. Put the consecration down. Oh God, change target. What the hell? I actually lost threat for a second. Didn't expect that. I'm actually losing it. I have to taunt this guy. 
Fascinating. There's a guy doing 3k in a Mythic Zero, so that that's why. I appreciate him, but he's totally ready for Mythic Plus. At least for single target, right? All right, the shield wall is up, by the way. This should be fine. There we go. Nice. Evil Eye Pendant. I don't think that's better than my Varix Collar. Nor is Odious Greaves better than my Death Bones, I think, right now. I want the defense rating. Is the defense rating here better than the parry and dodge? Actually, probably. You know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna take it. Nobody else can take it anyway. And that's our first item level 70 piece of gear, so that's pretty sick. Okay, 387 defense now. All right, Prince Tortheldren. Let's do it. Hopefully, I can live. No damage cooldowns here, and he hits hard. I know he hits hard. Oh god, we just gotta keep up that holy shield as much as we can. Divine protection. If uh, if we can hold it, we will. Oh god, blade storm. That's actually super easy to get out. Thank God for this Harbinger Pestilence guy, though, right? Like, with that damage, this would be going so slow if it wasn't for him. We have another guy, Soulfire guy, going over 1k. Schmork with Overpower Mutilate. Okay, he probably doesn't have good weapons. I'll, I'll give it to him. It's not his fault. If you're playing a Titan Mutilate build and you have crap weapons, you're not going to do any DPS, right? And then there's me. I think I'm fine, to be honest. I didn't even have to pop CDs or anything. Healer was fine. Looks like I was fine with the Holy Shield only. I'll take it. What do we get? Stone Shatter. I don't want that. Fluctuating Cloak of Fire Resistance. Would I ever want Fire Resistance? You know what? I'm going to take it just in case. Because guess what? Nobody else can take it. That's the perk of being a tank. And look at this, guys. Four, well, three Mythic Caches. One Keystone. Stratholm. That actually might be something I try to do. It has Tyrannical on it, which is not the worst. And I'm also entirely, like, I just feel like I can handle it. Why? Because there's a lot of AoE pulls. And, well... I handle that like it's nothing. But let's see if we get anything good. Tank, okay. Talisman of Evasion? Oh, that's Bear Druid right there. Stonewall Girdle. That's actually pretty cool. I don't think I want to replace the Death Bone, though. Okay, last one. Damn it, a two-handed freaking... You know what it is, man. 2H parry tank, maybe Bear Druid. We never get anything we can use! Spoils of War? Dude, that was easy as hell. That was a Mythic Zero tank run. Wow. Let's go turn the daily in. There we go, guys. It's more Marks of Ascension, and uh, we can do some rerolls. I already did a few that I didn't show because we got literally nothing from them. So uh, you can see I'm stacking up the cards. I'm going to send them to an alt as well. If you send all of your cards, by the way, your sealed cards, they can be mailed to your alts. If you send them all to one alt, you'll get more Dark Moon tickets saved up on that alt. And then you'll have a better chance of getting good sealed cards. So you'll be able to afford them, right? All right, six. Nope, don't want that. What are we looking for right now, really? Shattering Throw Repentance. No, both of those could have been Void Walker, though, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. I think that's all I need. Imagine. Like, literally, imagine right now if I had Void Walker, 10% flat damage reduction and a shield. It's broken. It really, it's too overpowered. I really do think that. Like, the fact that you never see Void Walker and the fact that both in PvP and, I guess, for tanks, it makes such a big difference. In a random game mode, no one ability should be absolutely 100% unequivocally necessary for everything. Now, it should be necessary for a specific build, yes. But Void Walker has no specific build. It's just good. It's just good. All right, anyway, I'll quit ranting about Void Walker. Maybe greater heal. Uh, well, maybe for conjure food. I like having a heal, you know what I mean? So I'm glad I have something, and it matches the theme. Mindfully bloodthirst conjure food. It's coming on back, man. He said, please don't get rid of me. I had a heal? Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Okay, last one. Nothing. Conjure water. I like that one more. Can help people with it. Yeah, but not for that. All right, we do have a Mythic Spoils of War, though, from... The daily, what do we get? Razor Gauntlet, oh. Oh man, why does it have to give strength, dude? Increases defense, see mine are better even though they're PVP. Actually, the ones I have for PVP are absolutely bonkers. It gives intellect, stamina, more intellect, spell power, block value, defense rating. It's just really cool. A Cyclopean Band though, it has hit rating. I'll totally use that, I think, over the Band of the Hierophant. Why not? It certainly use the hit rating and it's basically the same thing, except higher item level. That's so good for me. What is this though? Belt of the Ordained. Oh my gosh. That is so close to what I want. What if that haste was any defensive stat? The haste and the crit, right? Didn't there used to be a system in WoW where you could change out the secondary stats? I think it was in Kata or something. I think it was a little wonky, but man, sometimes I yearn for something like that, right? But okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a Mythic Plus, probably more than one, on the tank character. We're actually going to progress a non-DPS, and I'm really looking forward to it. So if you enjoyed that, once again, slap the like button. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. It doubles out.